ever since I was a teenager. So I used to love magazines as a teenager. Uh, I feel like I need to go buy magazines again because I kind of forgot how much I loved it till I thought about this. But there was a story that I read in Seventeen magazine, and it was like a fictional story, but about this quirky girl who was also beautiful, but kind of, you know, on the outskirts, but she wore vanilla like vanilla that you cook with as perfume every day and like all of the men were just like you smell amazing or men it was probably boys in her high school <laughs> or whatever but ever since then i've been like i want to smell like vanilla and have you know random people come up to me and tell me that i smell amazing so right before this started i did go ahead and dab this behind my ears so that it could be my personal perfume for today and it already has been fun like i took off my headphones for a second and put it back on and just moving that i could like smell it again and it smells really good <laughs> it does smell really good Welcome to the Bottle Poppin' Podcast, where Meg and Heather share their love for oils, friendship, and entrepreneurship. Let's get it poppin'. Hey, everyone. This is Meg. Hi there. This is Heather. And we are the Bottle Poppin' Podcast. So, Heather, what are we popping open today? We are popping open my dog's favorite essential oil. Well, as I say that, it's not an essential oil. This one is an absolute. It is Madagascar Vanilla. And when I grabbed this bottle off of the shelf just to simply bring it upstairs to record this call. My dog made sure to like follow behind me as close as possible and smelled the bottle all the way up the stairs. He loves this oil. <laughs> so funny. And we even like, if you go back and look at our uh, Instagram account, I can't remember when it was, but we definitely have a video of him like smelling under the desk. <laughs> the yes. Carbonella is so funny. Has yes. he, does he react like that to oils that have vanilla in it? Not that I've noticed. And honestly, I mean, I feel like there's oils that he's curious about, but he smells it and then walks away. There's no other oil that he follows me for. Yeah. So funny. <laughs> and I'm sure you didn't even open the bottle, just the the strength of their smell, sense of smell. Yes. In fact, when I did open the bottle, he actually kind of does smell it in the back up. Like it is a little mm. strong for him that way. But with the cap on, he is all about it. <laughs> Well, as you can guess, it smells like vanilla. Yes. <laughs> Are you going to do a taste test? Oh, of course I will. For vanilla? Heck yeah. Aren't you going to for vanilla? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> it surprisingly tastes like vanilla. It actually tastes better than vanilla extract. Oh, definitely. Like, that you cook with, which yes. is kind of cool too, because vanilla extract um, – for anybody who hasn't ever tasted it, like it adds so much flavor to baked goods, but it tastes, I don't know, like alcoholy, I guess. Yes, I agree. When you and just it, like almost take it in your mouth, to taste it. Yes. Yeah. Whereas no, I agree. It's like, it's like a baked good with vanilla in it. So yeah, that's exactly. It's very well rounded. It almost just tastes sweet more than mm -hmm. anything else. So yes, this one tastes good. This is one that I will add to coffee. This one's interesting. So we were discussing this before we hopped on. There is no supplements facts box on the back of this vanilla because it's not an essential oil. It's an absolute. So there's nowhere to indicate that this is an internal use oil. However, on doTERRA's website, it clearly says that it is for aromatic, internal, and topical use. And they even suggest adding it to the beverage of your choice. So I'm going to go with it's safe to use internally. It tastes delicious. So I say mm -hmm. yes for internal use. And I just dropped dead just now nope. when we put it in our mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I've added it to my coffee before. We actually added it the other day. This would be more aromatic use, but my daughter is into making soaps right now. And so we've been experimenting with different scents. She wanted to use the vanilla. I will say that it took more drops of vanilla than I would have liked for it to smell strong with the soapy flavor, not flavor, soapy scent. <laughs> I didn't try the soup. <laughs> um, this is not a cheap oil. It's not expensive, I guess, in the scheme of things. But because of the labor intensity that it is required to harvest this and source this, it is a, a medium priced oil, I guess, for the better description, that I don't want to waste the drops in soap. So we did it once and we're like, okay, we're going to do soap scented soap from now on. <laughs> <laughs> what oils do you use to get soap scents? 
soap, silly. You just use the soap. Okay. Okay, got it. <laughs> uh, the only other one I've ever used is wild orange. Since we're on that conversation, wild orange is very inexpensive. So we just put a lot of drops in it, but it still was very mild in the soap. So my guess is that most soaps are scented with synthetic sense, yeah. which mm, if I'm going to be putting it on my body, it, I don't want it to be synthetic. So we have moved away from the adding the doTERRA oils. It's yeah. okay. Well, I was super excited when doTERRA mentioned this. For years, I have wanted a vanilla essential oil. And again, this isn't an essential oil. It's an absolute. But um, I have ever since I was a teenager, so I used to love magazines as a teenager. Uh, I feel like I need to go buy magazines again because I kind of forgot how much I loved it till I thought about this. But there was a story that I read in Seventeen magazine, and it was like a fictional story, but about this quirky girl who was also beautiful, but kind of, you know, on the outskirts, but she wore vanilla like vanilla that you cook with as perfume every day and like all of the men were just like you smell amazing or men it was probably boys in her high school <laughs> or whatever but ever since then i've been like i want to smell like vanilla and have you know random people come up to me and tell me that i smell amazing so right before this started i did go ahead and dab this behind my ears so that it could be my personal perfume for today and it already has been fun like i took off my headphones for a second and put it back on and just moving that i could like smell it again and it smells really good <laughs> it does smell really good this one does work really well with a personal perfume this one goes really well with floral oils mm -hmm. and so i've done rose um, roller before and then take in a drop of the vanilla and just kind of mix the two of those together. That smells really, really nice. Nice. That smells, that, that smells, that sounds really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you primarily use this oil? Um, honestly, we smell this one right out of the, bo the bottle. I feel like my daughter goes towards this one. If she's stressed and we're in the kitchen, she knows it's sitting right there by the internal use oils. Um, mm -hmm. I will put it in the diffuser. One of my favorite fall diffuser blends is Harvest Spice and the vanilla. I think the diffuser blend's called like uh, sweet and spicy or something like that. And then I actually found another one. Uh, when I was looking up diffuser blends with Vanilla, that I'm going to try this one this evening because it sounds like it smells amazing. It's called Vanilla Dreams, and it's Madagascar Vanilla, Lavender, and Cedarwood. So it's cool that you mentioned that your daughter uses it for calming because that is mm -hmm. actually one of the uses. But that combo that you just said would be super calming with all those additional calming oils. I bet that's going to be really nice. Yeah. And one of the other ways that they say that uh, they suggest to use this is in the bath, like with Epsom salts. And so imagine those three oils in a bath. Woo, I'm going to bed nice and relaxed. Yeah, that sounds amazing. Well, I definitely, I, I don't use this as much as I would like to. I kind of forget about it. And then I feel like I need to hoard it, which we already talked about. It's not that expensive, so I don't need to hoard it. But uh, for a while, I was adding it to my coffee and I felt like it's a light, it's a light taste. And so I felt like I needed quite a bit to truly taste it, but maybe it's because I also add so much stuff to my coffee that. <laughs> right. But so that is interesting because I feel like directly out of the bottle, it is plenty strong to smell. It is distinct what it smells like. I can smell it easily. It's not a super soft scent out of the bottle, mm -hmm. but again, adding it to the soaps, it took a lot for it to even smell a little bit. You're saying it takes a lot in the coffee for you to really taste it. I feel like the scent does come out with diffuser blends. So that's Agreed. interesting how it stands out sometimes and not other times. Yeah. Well, and speaking of diffuser blends, I also really like this one with hookah oil. It smells mm. really good. Like it just adds a layer of sweetness to that one as well. I haven't tried that before. Yeah, I think that this is one of those diverse diffuser oils that you could just add almost to anything. It smells good with citrus oils. I already said the floral, like you said, the huga. Um, I feel like this would just go well with most oils to soften the scent and add that little bit of sweetness to it. Yeah, totally agree. All right. Well, anything else on vanilla? Nope. My family likes it. You should have it too. Yes, you should. It's a fun one to have. 
All right. Well, we so appreciate you taking the time to listen. We will have a brand new episode for you next week. Thanks for tuning in. For more information, you can follow these bottle popping ladies at bottlepoppinpodcast.com. Tune in next week to learn about what bottle we're popping. Until next time, take care. These statements have not been evaluated by the Food and Drug Administration. This podcast is not intended to treat, diagnose, cure, or prevent any disease.